Joel. Hey, Sandy. It's almost Christmas, yep. and I brought you a gift to Aww. celebrate the season of Jesus' birth. You are so sweet. Thank you. And it's a Subway card. I love Subway. It's like the greatest, especially when they buy one, get one free subs. I oh, it, oh, thank you. You knew just what to get me. Thank uh, you so much. You're welcome. But you know what? What? I, um, I got you something, too. Oh, ooh, snazzy box. Wow, thank you. What's in here? Oh, a Dunkin' Donuts card. You know I love my coffee. I know, I That's know. That's great, thanks. I know. Yeah, I'm a great gift giver. Um, but um, these are both great gifts, but they don't compare to the greatest gift of all, God's Son, Jesus. Join us this week for D6 at FCCO as we find out about God fulfilling his promise to send someone to rescue us from sin. And that's Jesus. By the eggnog. Yeah, hang the garland and the wreaths. Oh, Michelle wanted those extra Christmas lights for the outside. She wants it super bright. Apparently she wants to be seen by from space. Hello, NASA. Um, yeah, there's something else. Oh, I know we gotta hand, oh, wrap the presents and hand them out to our neighbors. Um, Hi, Joel, what are you doing? Hey, Sandy, um, making a list of all the things that Michelle wants me to do to get ready for Christmas the, oh. as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Smart idea. Uh, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, because if I don't make a list, I don't know about you, but I will forget things. Right? Me, I, me too. I feel like feel like I'm getting old here. Um, but uh, so and I don't want to break my promise to, to Michelle, so I need to write those things down. Good for you. Thanks. Do you know that our Bible lesson today is about God keeping his promise? Really? Tell, tell, well, tell me more about that. Well, the Bible is full of many promises that God has made to us, but our story is about a very special promise that he made you see, long, long ago, there was a king of Judah named Ahaz. Okay. He was not faithful to God. He led his people to worship idols and led people away from God. Yeah, that's not good. But God loved his people in spite of their sin. So the story is ringing a bell. You know, it's from the Old Testament. And this is when God sent the prophet Isaiah to del deliver a message to the people, right? Right. And the message was a promise from God. And, and God's a good promiser. Uh, and the message was, was that a virgin would give birth to a son, and his name will be Emmanuel, which means God with us. And he'll be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And that's Jesus, the Messiah. The people waited a long, 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 long time, long time for the Messiah. Right. God's people waited for hundreds of <sighs> years for time. that promise to be fulfilled. The Christmas story from the Bible is all about God keeping his promise. Should we get started? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Okay, Christmas is about wonder and surprises. Yeah, I love surprises. So I, I brought these surprise items to help us tell the story right from the Bible. Joel, you can open the first box. Okay, let me see. I bet I'm going to be surprised. And I am! It's an angel! I, I did not expect that. Um, well, you know, the Christmas story is great because it has a lot to say about angels. Uh, like the one who appeared to Mary and then to Joseph in the books of Luke and Matthew. Let me tell you about that. You know, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Uh, now, Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. An angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She'll give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. So, uh, apparently angels have really bad accents. Um, uh, well, here's the second box. Okay, let me see. Am I going to be surprised? Check it surprised? out. Ooh! That looks like, is that Bethlehem? It's the town of Bethlehem. I know my sky skylines. I'll read about Mary and Joseph uh, journey to Bethlehem from the book of Luke. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. 
what do you think might be in the next box? Well, I'm thinking it's time for Jesus to be born. Yep. Uh, so it, we'll see. it might have something to do with him being in a stable, and it does. Look at this. It's a little tiny baby Jesus in hay. Oh, man, that is awesome. You know, in Luke 2, uh, we hear about Jesus' birth. Where, where, where Luke says, while well, they were there in Bethlehem, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her first, firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger. And this is it! That's right. This is Jesus, God keeping his promise. He sent a Savior to take away the sins of the world, and the Savior came as a tiny baby Jesus in hay. That's right. So authentic. <laughs> and the next part of the story... Here you go. Oh, Shows uh, just how exciting anyway. the news was. God used what's in this fourth box to share the good news. Oh, man, look at these. They're sheep and, and shepherds. Sh cool. Let yeah. me read from Luke. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Bah. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Wow. Yeah, that must have been quite a night for those shepherds. You know, so first they were hanging out, and some were probably sleeping because it was nighttime, right? I know. I'm sure it was quiet. Except for the occasional. <laughs> yeah, maybe just some sheep <laughs> noises. Hey, maybe there were some shepherds snoring. Probably. And all of a sudden, an angel appeared and spoke to them in a really bad accent. And then, then more angels. You know, what do you think? Hundreds of angels? Thousands? Uh, the Bible doesn't say exactly how many, but I'm sure it was a lot. Right. And I bet the, I bet the shepherds were startled. Like, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, and then, like, the shepherds went to Bethlehem. <laughs> And they found the baby Jesus. They, they were like so excited. They went and spread the good news all over the place. Hey, Jesus is here. Jesus. That's right. I mean, that's awesome. Over time, news spread far beyond Bethlehem. In our last box, here it is. It's pretty special. We're going to see who else heard the news. Okay. Joel, hmm. what's in there? Hmm. Let me see. Huh. What what is what is this? This this is something. It seems like pretty expensive. Like something like a king would have. That is myrrh, one of the valuable gifts given to Jesus. Three oh. wise men from far away heard about Jesus and wanted to see uh, see him and worship him and honor him with gifts. Joel, why don't you tell them about them from the book of Matthew? I'd love to. Okay, so after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, magi from the east. Those are. Uh, the wise men came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. The star they had seen went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. God kept his promise. He gave us the gift of his son Jesus when he sent him to earth. It is only through Jesus that we can have forgiveness of sins. But it's not only the gift we receive from God. The Bible also tells us about the many other gifts that Jesus gives us. This includes the gifts of peace, love, eternal life, guidance, answered prayers, and power through God's Holy Spirit. What can we all do this Christmas to focus on Jesus, the best gift ever? What can we do to show God how much we value his gift? Let's celebrate Christmas this year by talking with him. And reading his word. Serving him and others. And living our lives in ways that honor him. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for always keeping your promises. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to earth to rescue us from our sins. Help us to show our gratitude to you by loving you and sharing your love with the people we see every day. 
We will celebrate this Christmas season because of what you have done for us. Amen. Amen. We'll see you next week for D6 at FCCO.